Today, I'm going to read from Psalm chapter 31, verse 23. It reads, Love the Lord, all his faithful people. The Lord preserves those who are true to him, but the proud he pays back in full. Let's look at this payback that God is promising. We've got good news and bad news. Actually, the news is all the same, but the one receiving it will determine if it's good or bad. I want to hear the bad news. The news is that God gives people what they deserve. In the scriptures, we set this in two scenes. In his first letter to the Corinthians, Paul teaches us that all believers will stand before God one day to give account of our faithfulness. Let's take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13 through 15. It reads, Their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. If it is burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved, even though only as one escaping through the flames. On that day, God will review everything we've done since the day we trusted Christ. We'll be rewarded for all eternity for the things that we did to honor Him, and the rest of our actions, the ones done for selfish motives, will burn up and turn to ashes. At the end of Revelation, we find the great white throne judgment, where believers are rewarded and unbelievers are punished for eternity. We are going to read from Revelations. We're going to go to chapter 20 and we're going to look through verse 11 through 15. It reads, Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it, the earth and the heavens fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them and each person was judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. These scenes in scriptures aren't put there just to fill up space. They are important lessons God wants to impart to us. The choices we make today are very important. In fact, we will receive a report card at the end of our lives, and we'll live with the results for all eternity. Even in this life, we're given what we deserve. God rewards our faithfulness in many ways. He preserves us, blesses us richly, and gives us life of meaning and peace. But we also pay for wrongdoing. In this life, arrogant, self-absorbed people often pay the price of strained relationships and other heartaches, both in this life and in the one to come. God gives us exactly what we deserve. Count on it. Now. How does God's grace fit into the teaching about God paying back people? And what choices do you need to make so that you get a good report card on the day when you stand before Christ? 
Sig Siglar said, If you are sincere, praise is effective. If you are insincere, it is manipulation. Stay with God, brothers and sisters.